Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to show you some knee strengthening exercises for knee prehab and knee rehab. These exercises will be fantastic for you, especially if you had knee injury in the past or you're going to get knee surgery or you already had knee surgery. These exercises will help strengthen up your knee and reduce a lot of the knee pain that you might be going through. These knee exercises will also prevent knee injury in the future and degenerative change that could occur in the long term, such as osteoarthritis. The main muscles that these knee exercises will be working is the VMO muscle, which is a very important muscle for patellar tracking and a knee dysfunction. We'll be working on some hip muscles as well because hip muscles are very important on how your knee operates and giving it stability. I hope these knee exercises help you as much as they helped me and my patients. Seated knee extensions. Sit down on a chair and raise your leg up in a straight position. So your knee is extended. Do this in a slow and controlled manner. Try to contract your quadricep muscle as much as possible for about half a second. You can contract this muscle a lot better by pointing your toes forward. The muscle I want you to concentrate on contracting is the most inner quad muscle, also known as the VMO muscle. Do this for 10 repetitions on both sides, three to four sets. If you find this too easy, you can always wear a heavy boot or get some ankle weights to make the exercise a lot more harder. The VMO muscle is extremely important to promote knee stability, patellar tracking, and prevent knee injuries. Seated squats. Find a chair or a bench that is at a height that you can comfortably sit down and get up from without using your hands. Have your feet slightly wider than your shoulder width whilst feeling most of your weight on the ball of your feet and your heels. Then sit down in a slow and controlled manner, having your knees slightly pointed outwards. The toes can slightly point outwards as well. Try to focus on activation with your thigh muscles on each movement up and down. A common mistake or a sign that you are compensating is using your arms or hands by pressing onto your thighs to help yourself get up. Avoid this by holding your own hands or having your hands in front of you. Do this for about 10 to 15 repetitions and then repeat this exercise three to four sets. One-legged knee squats. Get yourself a chair where you can sit down and get up comfortably with one leg in front of you. Try to stand up on one leg in a slow and controlled manner without using momentum and sit back down in a slow and controlled manner. Do this for about 10 repetitions on both legs and alternate both legs three to four times. Please do not drop yourself onto the chair trying to make this easier for yourself. I want you to feel the muscles in your knees working. This will work on your stability and balancing of your knee. If this was too hard for you, you can use a broomstick or do the exercise next to a wall. This will give you another point of balance. If you rely on pushing down on a broomstick, this means that your leg strength needs a lot more work and you might need to go back to normal squats on the chair. This exercise will work on ankle stability and the feedback on the muscles in your feet, knees, and even your hip muscles to allow you to stand up on one leg. A lot of knee pain and knee instability actually comes from poor conditioning of the glute muscles. So this exercise will help you by working your hips as well. Banded squats. Get yourself a resistance band and loop it just above around your knees. Now with your feet shoulder width apart, and your knees slightly pointed outwards, squat down in a slow and controlled manner. Just go down to the point where your thighs are just below parallel to the floor, and this should be enough. This will create enough stress on the knees to activate the necessary muscles such as the glutes and the quads. The band will push your knees inwards, so as you do the exercise, you will consciously push your knees outwards against the band. This will activate your glutes and generate force through the outer portions of your feet fighting against your feet from rolling inwards. And that's not what we want because that will cause your knees to cave in. Do this for about 10 to 20 repetitions, three to four sets. If you place the band below your knees, the exercise automatically becomes a lot harder due to the increase of torque that is created. This will also create more stress on the knee as well. So please loop the band above your knees first before trying to loop it below your knees. Step ups. You can do this exercise at home on some stairs or a stack of phone books pressed up against the wall so they don't move. Here I am using a humble footstool. Simply step on one foot at a time then back down again in a controlled manner. 
please concentrate on the two phases of the movement, up and down. Do this for 10 repetitions and repeat it on both sides 3 to 4 sets. On that phase, the muscles around the knee contracts, especially the quadriceps. We want to work more on the VMO muscles here because it's very important for knee strength and patella tracking. As you step down, I want you to do this slowly as possible to allow eccentric contraction. This is a phase where the muscle is lengthening under load. This will strengthen your muscles for forces that lengthens it, which will prevent you from injuries in the future. Clock face toe taps. Get some masking tape and create a large asterisk so it, the end of the lines resembles the numbers of a clock. Now stand with the leg that you want to work on in the middle of the asterisk. And with your other leg, try to tap the ends of each line with your toe. With the leg that you're working on, I want you to be flat footed and try to stay balanced as much as possible. The further you reach with your toe taps, the more difficult the exercise will be. Work around the asterisk two to three times, then repeat the whole process again on your other leg for three to four sets. This exercise will work on your balance and your knee strength, and it's a very popular exercise among health professionals, especially exercise physiologists and physiotherapists. Banded side steps. Place a resistance band and loop it around your thighs above your knees, and then have your feet slightly wider than your shoulder width apart. Now slightly squat down, about quarter of the depth of a full squat, with your knees pointed outwards. Then take side steps. Do about 10 to 20 steps and change directions 3 to 4 times. This will mainly work on your hip muscles, which is very important for your hip and knee stability. However, in this exercise, I want you to be conscious on placing the weight of your body on the outer portions of your feet. This way, all your joints and biomechanics will be working in synchronization. I'll put a link in the description box below on where to get these resistance bands. Banded knee extensions. Anchor the resistance band under a sofa or a pole and loop the other end of the band above the back of your knee that you want to work on. Make sure there is some tension in the band. This will create a force pulling your leg to the front. Allow most of your weight to be on the front leg and your rear leg slightly bent with your heel raised. Now push your heel back down onto the floor straightening out your leg working against the pulling force of the band. Make sure you squeeze the quadricep muscle in the thigh. Do this for about 10 to 20 repetitions, 3 to 4 sets. Try to squeeze the inner quadricep muscle near the top of your knee, also known as the VMO muscle. There are many types of gauges of these resistance bands. Try to use the light one first, as movement in the knee alone can help with knee pain and recovery, especially if you have knee surgery or had an injury in the past. I'll put a link in the description box below on where to get one. Reactive knee squats. Anchor the band to a pole or under a heavy couch and loop it on the outside of your knee, just above your knee. This will pull your knee inwards, so as you squat down you'll naturally react to this and push your knee outwards. Do slow and controlled squats as low as you can, but not to a full squat. Do this for about 10 to 20 repetitions, 3 to 4 sets. Whilst you're doing these exercises, try to be centered and not overcompensate onto a preferred side. This will train the strength and stability in your hips, knees, and feet. A lot of strength coaches, powerlifting coaches, and weightlifting coaches actually prescribe this exercise to correct hip shift and knee caving. So if you do have knee pain or your knees do cave when you do the barbell squat, this exercise might be able to help you as well. It's not just for knee pain or knee rehab. Once you are ready, place the band just above your knee on the inner part of your knee so that the band pulls your knees outwards. Try to stay centered and with your knees still slightly pointing outwards and you're not overcompensating onto one side. Do 10 to 20 squats for 3 to 4 sets. Even though it's important for us to focus having our knee pointed outwards, by having the ability to resist external forces from affecting our form, and strengthening the stability of our knee at the same time, it will protect our knee from future possible injuries and reduce pain in the knee, especially if you had a past injury or you went through surgery. This is a form of reactive neural training, also known as RNT. You might find that one side is more difficult to stay in good form 
and this is exposing your deficiencies. So just take your time to appreciate it and work on the movement that you find that's a bit more difficult. That way you will build the strength and stability that's necessary for your hips, knees and ankles. In 1999, the Journal of Athletic Training published a paper on how reactive neural training affects the anterior crucial ligament for knees that were injured. The results showed that within one week, the patient made considerable gains in strength through neural control. So please try out the banded exercises out to give yourself some external force that challenges your form and movement. See you guys, thanks for watching. I really want you to join my VIP Facebook group. I want to build a community there where you can ask questions and I'll do my best to answer them as soon as possible. There'll be other health professionals in that group as well to help you out. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Now, if you had a meniscus tear in the past, or ligamentous tear, please check out my meniscus exercise video. That video will definitely strengthen up your knee and rehab you back to normal. Now, if you do have foot pain, that foot pain could possibly cause knee pain as well, and that foot pain could be caused by plantar fasciitis. So please check out my plantar fasciitis video to help you get out of pain and get you be able to start moving again and rehab yourself. Remember, support my channel, hit like, comment below if you have any questions, and hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.